Okay, great, thank you. Um, back to you, Una. Um, why is sodium important? Uh, sodium, um, low sodium diet, I mean, as Professor Barrett's already mentioned this morning, low sodium is one of the, the diet components that actually really does make a difference. Um, sodium, um, it, it contributes to blood pressure and, um, I mean, for the whole population as a whole, and in particular patients with um, kidney problems, it's really important to, um, to try and, and uh, reduce the, the salt intake to help reduce the, um, the blood pressure. Um, I mean, if you look at everybody's, you know, the whole population's diet, we all consume too much salt. And I mean, what we're, what we're aiming for is um, less than six grams of salt a day. Um, but when you look at actually what's in food, I mean, 75% of the salt we eat actually comes from food, you know, that we actually buy in the shops. And that's not necessarily things like, you know, ready meals and sauces that, you know, are very commonly known to be high in salt. But, you know, breakfast cereals and bread, I mean, these all have salt in. Um, so what, we, what I mean, a really good thing to do is look at the labels of food when you go shopping and start to get familiar with, you know, the traffic light system that's on the front. So the little um, green and red and amber um, circles at the front. Um, these highlight whether a, a food's got um, high or, or medium or low uh, salt levels in. Um, trying to aim for green and amber where possible um, will help to keep the salt the salt intake low. Looking at the ingredient list as well. So if you look at the back and you see salt sort of in the first five ingredients, and you'll know that um, salt has got quite a lot of um, salt. There's quite a lot of salt in that food. Um, trying to cook from scratch as well. You know, at home. Um, I mean, I, I guess perhaps if people have been shielding, they've probably been um, doing a lot more experimenting at home with cooking and doing some things themselves rather than eating out and um, getting takeaways in. So just trying to make food yourself, at least you know what's gone into it. And um, there's loads of different places online that have recipes for low salt food. Um, so um, one that um, as dietitians um, we work with is Kidney Care UK. They've got a really good website called um, Kidney Kitchen. Um, and their new website, um, which is coming very soon, I believe, well, you'll be able to filter the recipes for low salt um, and also low potassium, low phosphate as well. But the, um, the loose salt one's really good. It just helps to sort of um, give you some ideas of things that you can make easily at home that are low in salt.